Hey everyone and welcome back to the final and long overdue video of the laptop stand build series where I build this laptop stand and it has been extremely useful for doing a lot of work on my computer. If you haven't seen the first couple of videos, I'll put a link right here so you can go over and check out that series and you can go back to the first video and kind of follow the whole build through. It took a few videos because I wanted to put in as much detail as I could so you could see how this all came together. And I really like the way it looked once the final finish was applied to it and it has come in really handy. So here we are and we'll just get right into the last video. So what I have here is stock that's about two and a half inches wide, maybe three quarters of an inch thick. And I just cut them down into squares. I wasn't really looking for any exact size. I just wanted something that I could cut the notches in and glue them into place to make the whole thing more solid. I'm not so worried about the laptop being too much weight for the stand more than I am me doing something like dropping it, bumping into it, and that sort of thing, and cracking it or breaking it at the miter joint. So these splines are gonna give it a lot more rigidity, and at the same time, they look really cool. So after cutting them into squares, I bring them over to the bandsaw and basically just draw a line from one corner to the other and just cut it right across that line, just making two even triangle splines. So you see I have three squares and I just cut them each in half, making six oak splines. And you'll see here, <laughs> I realize I never set, brought the guide down on the bandsaw before I started cutting. And you would think having a bandsaw mill I would know better, but I've also not used this bandsaw very much lately and haven't really done a whole lot in my shop lately, but looks like I should hopefully be able to get back to doing that. There we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just showing you here how that's gonna line up. And so what I decided to do, once I got the splines cut, is just put one spline in the center of each set of deck boards. So where they all kind of came together and glued up, I'm just treating them as individual deck boards and I'm just going roughly in the middle. I didn't measure exactly because it really doesn't matter. This is all for strength and as long as it's it's fairly close to the middle, it'll look pretty good. So I just go ahead and take the spline and draw on to the laptop stand where they're going to go in, in order to cut out the right amount of material to get the splines into the joint. So I could have set up some sort of power saw to do this. I could have set up some sort of jig, and but for me, the easiest way to do it was just to grab my handsaw and cut through it. Cedar is really soft, so it cuts pretty quickly. And so what I did is I did a cut on either side of the spline, and then I did a few down the center, just relief cuts to make it easier to chip out all the material. And then I come in after here with a chisel and just chisel away all the waste. I did have a little bit of chip out on the underside of where the splines go in, but it's not gonna be anything anyone's gonna see. This is going to sit over my lap, so I wasn't too concerned about it. And after the fact, I, I mixed some sawdust with some glue just to kind of fill in the gaps, and it came out pretty good. I have to say, I really enjoy using chisels and cleaning out spaces for joinery. Uh, just something relaxing about it. So here I just use my speed square to make sure that the angle is a perfect 45 degrees and that the two points where the spline are going to make contact line up perfectly. So 
I just do a little bit more cleanup. So then I just knock the spline into the gap that I cut to make sure it would fit. And basically there I just showed you how I cut one of the splines and set them in place just to so you, so you could see how it's done. And then I went around and I just did all six of them off camera because they're all done exactly the same. And so I basically just glue the slot that the spline is going to go into. I put some glue on either side of the spline where it's going to make contact with the laptop stand and then just knock it back into place and really no need for clamps here because they go in very tight so there's really nothing to clamp because they're not going anywhere and if you're wondering what that is that I'm using to knock the splines in it's actually the handle from a mallet that I made and then broke so I'm sure you're gonna be seeing in an upcoming video is a, a video on making a new mallet <laughs> so here I just come in with a chisel and I start uh, shaving off the end some of the end grain of the splines to make it flush with the rest of the laptop stand and quickly realized it would be a lot easier to use a plane to do this process so I come back through with my number four Stanley plane and just shave all the splines down to make everything nice and flush. So then I go over the whole thing again entirely with the sander and smoothed out all of the pointy edges and just kind of knocked off all the hard edges on everything and I went over the edges and made everything nice and rounded and smooth. Because this is going to be something that's going to be sitting on my lap and that I'm going to have my hands on. And so it's definitely nice to have a nice smooth surface. So what I use here for a finish is roughly a 50-50 mix of boiled linseed oil and polyurethane. I found this is a really good finish for something that is a soft wood that I'm going to be using as a utility for working with my laptop but the nice thing about the polyurethane mixed into it is it gives it kind of a hardened shell on the outside so it gives a quite a bit of protection to it and the boiled linseed oil really brings out the color in both the oak and the cedar and makes the whole project look really nice and I did wind up putting two coats on this and in the end it came out even a bit darker after the second coat and I do coat the whole thing on the top, on the sides, on the bottom, and give it a nice good protective coating and a really nice look. I really, really like the way this thing came out. I just love the look of it. You can see where the boards were used as decking, the screw holes are there, and it's got a nice sheen to it, but still a nice rustic look to it. And I really, really like it. So I really hope you like it as well. I hope you liked this series of videos building this laptop stand and it was really great having you along during the process. I had a lot of fun making it. I intend on doing a lot more projects here in this shop. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It helps quite a bit. Please throw some comments down below. Any feedback you have on the videos, the content, the projects, anything like that, I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. If you like this video, please check some of these other videos out here on the channel. And if you like them, please consider subscribing. You hit the subscribe button down below, a bell icon will come up 